the 64th Damers Banjo Kazooie Walkthrough Part 2. Alright, so last time we started on our big adventure, and now we're going, we're walking, we're walking, we're walking, and we're gonna take down that gigantic ape once and for all. He's been annoying me, and he needs to die. For good. And if he doesn't die for good, I'll make sure he does. Just you wait. Go to that place that shall not be named. And give up your last chitty as well. So this will make sense for this level. So that's six. And he's still throwing oranges at us. And he's still alive. He's still alive. Anyways, you notice all that black area on this video? Anyways, here's a different go. Notice like all the like black around the screen? I stretched that in part one. I did it in part two because I did not feel like it. Anyways, the reason there's like all this black, there's actually less black around and when you're at when you actually play it. But see all this black? This is proof that this game was built on a Master FX chip only for your Nintendo C4. By now, yes, this game was at this game had cartridge had like a Master FX chip in it. And remember how there was Super FX chip on the Super NES? Well, now there's Master FX chip. Anyways, the Super FX chip back on the Super NES brought games like Stop Race FX, Star Fox, Star Fox 2, which was unreleased. I'm not sure. Um, this was. Not the first Master FX chip. Actually, I do recall the first beans. The game that shall not—a game that shall not be named. It's not the or. It's actually called a game that shall not be named. It was one of the first games released on the N64. It was the most popular out of all of them. And it's a game that shall not be named in my world. And I'm pretty sure all of you know what I'm talking about, but I don't feel like mentioning it, because it's a game that shall not be named in my wor world. And I know I said that wrong. I never mind that. Up to 90 notes, so this, cl this is clear proof that we're almost done with this entire level. We will don't won't have to worry about it for the rest of our lives. P.S. This is the easiest level of the game. And in here we meet Ikabuka Mekabuka Mambo Jumbo. Yeah, there's a, if you watch Thumbs Up Masters clips of all Banjo Kazooie and Tui's like some fonts and one of them like says like Ikabuka Ikabuka Mambo Jumbo. And I'm pretty sure I said that wrong. Ikabuka Oko Jumbo. No, no, no. Ikumbukum, Jogo Bobo. No. Ikumbukum. Screw that! Uh, just transform me into something. Anything now, just like, get me to flip to that last street. An ant. I swear, that is the biggest ant I've seen in my entire life. I'm not kidding. Ants would usually be lo lo a lot smaller than that. Just look at those ants. They're even bigger than me. I mean, this place contains some of the biggest ants known to mankind. I'm not even kidding. You everywhere. You will see hands. Ugh. And here I was a bit careful since to make sure I didn't get hit. But I did once I grabbed the last note. But who cares? It's just a hit. We we can we can restore it. 
stupid ant. Get out of my sight. And I got hit. But I still managed to grab all the all, all the eggs. And coming out here, we got an extra life. And this will put my life count to nine, not eight. Technically, it's nine. If you haven't seen part one yet. Alright, ten jiggies. That's... This means that we are done with this level. Pretty much grabbed like... I think we grabbed like every item except for the health restoring items. Every item in the entire level. Including the eggs and the mumbo tokens. Oh, how could I forget about the mumbo tokens? I'm such an idiot. Grunty's magic stops you from taking it as one of Yeah. Oh, shut up, Mr. Warfless. You're no good, you. And, Mr. Warfless, you are just like a huge disgrace to the video game industry. I hope you die in the next game. At least the next game. I'd be even more glad if you died in this game. <sighs> And if you go way too far in the overworld, your magic will wear out and you will transform back to a bear. As seen there. And huge Gratilda painting. And here's the first dope door. Yes, we know about the note door. You need a specific amount of notes to enter. But you don't need exactly 50 notes. You can have way more than 50 notes. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about backtracking. Oh, shut up, Bruntilda, you rhyming son of a gun. Alright, there's the new door. Take care of first one of way too many that would last decades. That door was easy, you got past. Unfortunately, your first one left. <sighs> Just you wait until I kick your butt. Yes, and this is Bruntilda. She will help you with a specific part in the game. I say specific because there is a specific part in the game where you're going to have to remember Bruntilda. And... a oh crap. And... she... Rancid milk. Clothes from the Saddy Maddie's... Oh, cheap. Grunty brushes are rotten teeth with moldy cheese slaved for toothpaste. And... yeah. And... When I first played Banjo Kazooie, I found those jokes from Bruntilla like extremely funny. I didn't know what they were supposed to be for when I first played the game. And we're going to open up the world. Actually, the second world, that is. Treasure Trove Cove. We'll be heading there just a moment. But first, we, we're going to head downstairs. Well, not that, not that entrance. This is a different entrance. We'll find a Kradlon. Once you wake him up, they'll create shortcuts throughout Gruntil Gruntilda's layer. And we'll be earning back our bubble tokens here soon. And when I when I usually play, I usually like to mash those buttons like as fast as I can, like the Lord One speed. But the Lord One is a completely different topic. And for your record, if you're wondering who the Lord One is, the Lord One is a really good Star Fox 64 player, but he hasn't played the game in decades. Well, not technically decades, but you get my point. You must die for taking for, for putting a hit on me. Not taking putting. Oh, man, why am I making so much? Yeah. I'm still trying to improve on narration, guys. Yes. We know about the gold feathers. 
you've probably seen what they do if you watched videos of this before you even first played this game. Like I did. And another mobile token. Scale the stupid sewer that's no good for your brains. And coming over here to press the switch to toggle to toggle that will just rise from the gr grave. I mean the grave. And I'm f really forgetting about my accent. And that random fade was for is for like me like don't accidentally going to first person. And Bruntil will just pretty much show up everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. And I slid there and I cut it out. And that to head into a secret passageway to a random part in the lair. It's not really secret, but it is required. Actually, REQUIRED! And, uh, do note, this is not the opening to the third world. It's actually the fourth. If you don't know what I mean, just watch my LP and you'll get my point. Anyways, this was the door to Bubblegoop Swamp. I mean, this, I mean, you could have come back later to do that, but I just felt like doing it now, because I just feel like doing things in a, ahead of time. So I'm more prepared for what's coming ahead, what dangers I'm gonna face. And the air system will kill you if you're not careful down there in that water. Yeah, here um, we will be coming back to this area because there's actually a level that li be lays there, but that's the third level for your record, but that is until like really far into the game, so you won't have to worry about it. And I'm swimming for, I'm swimming for no good reason. Actually, I have a reason why I'm over here. Why am I singing so crappy? And I found a random bubble token. And where's where's the puzzle pad? And if you're wondering why the puzzle pad is missing. You'll just have to keep on watching this walkthrough. And there's an extra life there. And Bruntelda. Crap, but. Yeah. The sweaty gorilla feet. Yuck! And. Don't know. I would prefer red any day. Yeah, red is my favorite color. And if you're wondering, that that was a random, like, skipping error from the DVD recording. And this is all I have for this episode, so see you guys next time. Goodbye.